Mark Kukareya for Future Stars Academy Objective has just been released in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team and in this video we're going to be taking a look at this card. Is he a very underrated card that is going to be used in maybe many different teams or is this a miss from EA Sports should it have they released someone else, a Pedri, a Shirky, maybe one of them would have been better. That's what we're going to be looking at in this video and if you choose to do him, how to complete these objectives as quickly as possible. So just before we get into it, if you are new here make sure you guys are definitely subscribed to this channel i'm going to be making lots more videos just like this one for all of the future objectives that are going to be released making a guide are they worth it are they not how to do the objectives as quickly as possible and also all of the future content winter refresh predictions everything like that so just definitely make sure that you are subscribed so getting straight into this one now this brand new objective was released today on sunday at 6 p.m uk time and that does actually give us quite a lot of hope that we are going to be getting many more Future Stars Academy objectives. We did get a total of four last year in FIFA 20 and that was spread out over the two teams but because EA Sports were waiting for this new season and now they are releasing these objectives with 28 days remaining, I definitely think we could get at least a couple more of these guys being released to hopefully total up to four of these again. Maybe we are going to be getting one every single two days. Possibly Possibly that is going to be happening, fingers crossed. Let me know down in the comments below who you guys think we could get for that. But taking a look at this card now, we do have him in squad battles and also you do have division rivals. But for myself in division one, there's no way that I'm going to be completing it in division rivals. Definitely squad battles for me. You do complete most of them in professional apart from one single one, I do believe, which is just going to be in world class. But taking a look now at the cards that we do have here, you are going to be starting out, of course, with this 82 rated you are going to be getting it just by scoring four goals but esports have added on to the end of that using spanish players so do keep that in mind that little bit caught me out wasted me a game but just make sure that you guys are using spanish players and you'll get this done just one spanish card throw him in squad battles or foot friendlies and you'll get this done straight away then you can get his 84 rated of course that is going to be center mid this is actually quite interesting that esports have gone for a position change like this and it is actually going from left back to center mid and then you do get a left mid card as well and in game his in game stats he allows him to play absolutely anywhere as well so his 86 that is just going to be an upgrade of course when you do get his 87 not really too different anything too significant from the 86 to the 87 but of course you do want to get the best version possible and I do think he's a little bit underrated in my opinion I do think it is of course a little bit lesser of an objective compared to the Rainier but this is all in squad battle it's definitely a different type of objective and EA Sports are aware of that but I do think in the popular 3-5-2 formation as people are getting more interest in that I think he could definitely be your guy he can play absolutely anywhere on the pitch wherever you need him and he is going to be a very solid card I do think it is going to grow on people they are going to start to like him more and maybe a lot more people are going to complete him when they do see some reviews going up and actually showing he's going to be a very good card in game in my opinion but taking a look now at the objective how can we get this card so once we have that 82 you are going to just go ahead and play I do recommend squad battles professional difficulty is probably going to be the best unless you are going to be in a low division maybe division 4 on 5 and it is going to be quicker if you can get some rage quits but you're going to be able to tell that for yourself but I'm going to be doing it in squad battles professional difficulty so you just have to play concede no more than one goal in three separate wins so just make sure that you're going to be getting three wins and you aren't going to be letting the opposition and the AI in this case score any goals against you and then you do need to just assist two goals using this 82 rated and the last one you're going to be doing with this 82 rated is assist in four separate squad battle matches so this isn't going to take you too long at all maybe around 45 minutes to an hour if you are going to be doing it in squad battles and I do think it is going to be very easy you just need to get three wins and you're going to have to be playing four in total and just make sure that you're scoring and assisting with this card and you're going to be all good then when you do get that 84 rated you do need to score three outside of the box goals assist five goals and then you also need to assist with a through ball in four separate matches so again this should be pretty much the same thing it is still going to be on professional difficulty it is just going to be using the 84 rated card so those four squad battle matches again but these time it's going to be wins then you need to assist five and score three outside of the box goals that is going to be 
be very basic. You can try and do this in foot friendlies if you are having troubles because it doesn't specify a division rivals or squad battles. So if you are having huge troubles with this, then get a friend on and he can just let you move his goalkeeper and you can score three outside of the box goals. So then you are going to be getting this 86 rated card. Some people might just want to stop here. It should only take you two hours to get to this point of this 86 rated card. But then after that, it does take quite a while. You are going to be assisting in five separate squad battle wins. Professional difficulty, again, that is going to be okay. Assist three goals with crosses. This is going to get a little bit annoying. And that's going to be on world-class difficulty as well, or rivals. So if you're in a high division, that is actually going to be a pain. But maybe try division rivals if you are going to be in a low division. And then we do have here scoring assist in the same game. And you're going to have to do this in three matches so this isn't going to be too hard at all you will just get that done automatically when you are banging in all of those assists and also a goal now and then but then we do have here assist using this 86 rated of course in 13 separate squad battle matches on a minimum professional difficulty or rivals this is going to be the main one that is going to be taking you a while so it is going to take you around an hour to get the first one after the 82 rated which is going to be 84 that is only going to be taking you you one hour and then another hour to get the 86 that is two hours that you are already going to be doing this objective that is all good I would say take a break there maybe of course give yourself a week or two break because this is going to be available for 30 whole days but then the last one unfortunately is going to be taking you quite a while 13 games that is going to mean around three to four hours to get this last one and that is still if you are going to be pretty much assisting in every single one sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to get that assist if the opponent isn't just going to be letting you which is a bit frustrating but unfortunately that is the consequence of when we are going to be doing these objectives there's way too many rats out there so it is going to take you around three to four hours to get from the 86 to the 87 rated card so you guys have to decide if you're going to be doing that or not the last one played 25 games with this card any of his versions that isn't going to be a problem at all let me know down in the comments below if you're going to be doing him or not i think probably i will definitely get up to 86 and then I will decide how he feels if it's worth going for that one upgrade. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.